Hello, and welcome back to another video tutorial here at Geek at Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. Got a fun modeling and texturing project today, which is creating bamboo. Now, the bamboo that we're going to create is these poles here, just the poles themselves. The bamboo plant over here, this is a native view bamboo plant, and we will not be creating anything with leaves on it, just the poles themselves that you see here and we will also be creating which is kind of a, a new project for me um, our own textures in Photoshop uh, using no uh, no photo references nothing just straight textures that we'll be creating ourselves so let's start off in view in hexagon I'm gonna create a cylinder here and I'll give it 14 points there and I want an odd number here for the sections and I will click OK come over here select edges I'm going to select all these edges except for the top and the bottom let's loop that and I'm going to use the Y scaling tool and I'm just going to scale these down there we are and select the top and the bottom piece and we'll just stretch that out. There we are. All right, come back to the middle here. I'm going to click on this center edge, loop that. Now what I want to do is click on, I don't need dynamic geometry, so I can turn that off. I'm going to come over here to soft selection, and I want to dial my soft selection so that it just begins to select the outside ring here and probably that's it now I'm just gonna scale it out now it resembles those protruding sections that you see in uh, bamboo okay now come up here to vertex modeling click on free tessellate I'm gonna click on the third one here which is tessellate by slice and hold down shift I'm gonna cut a cut a slice right through the middle of the top here come down to the bottom and I'm gonna do the same thing hold down shift validate select edges I'll select these edges that I just created loop them come over here to edge tools and extract around and let's extract around to about that amount now let's select these edges that I just created, loop those and extract around again. Okay, there we are. Now let's uh, click off and just select the center one. Loop that and I'm going to use soft selection again. Oops, I can only do one at a time. And let's, oops, I should expand this a little bit more. There we are. Just taper them in a little bit and select that one. Loop it and taper it in a little bit. Click off. And we got a nice old piece of bamboo here. Okay. Select edges. I'm going to select all the top ones. I can turn soft selection off. Hold down shift. Select all those bottom ones. And we're going to add a chamfer to that. I'm going to use a range of two. It does not need to be uh, very detailed or high res. There we are. Validate that. Select faces. I'm going to select the top. Spin around here to the bottom. And now I'm going to, now you know what, I'll just do each one manually. And I'm just going to bring them down. I'm going to sink it down inwards a little bit. Let me see. Let's try a soft selection here. Nope, a little, a lot less than that. Let's 
try to there we are and just sink it down in a little bit and I'll do the same thing with the bottom one okay now I'm going to click on the top again I don't need soft selection and I'm going to click off the bottom click on the bottom and I'm going to extract that and we'll call this piece ends and we'll call the other piece bamboo alright now the reason why I separated the two is that when we go to layout our UV maps with the top pieces connected to the rest of the body it's a little bit more work that um, well if there's an easy way to do it I'm the first one to uh, to exercise my right in utilizing it so it's just easier um, to separate it so you don't have to worry about the end pieces but when you go to make this try it yourself don't separate it like I do and then go try to lay out your UVs um, it's a pain in the neck so let's come over here to UV and paint and we'll do the ends first enable split screen down here I'm gonna click on cylindrical projection and I know this does not look very good but that's okay because I'm just going to select them and I will manually make them correct and I will move this the bottom one over on top of the top one because it is absolutely it's perfectly okay that they share the exact same texture uh, because you'd never know it you can only look at one of them at, at a time the top or the bottom and you'll never know or really care that each one has separate textures so they can share their own texture they can share the same texture and it doesn't make a difference okay so we're done with that let's save this UV map and we'll call it ends UV map <clears throat> turn that off let's come over here to our bamboo and we will use cylindrical projection on that one now this is the orientation and the shape of the little um, gizmo that it gives us which is not very good so first thing we need to do is make it round here then we need to rotate it 90 degrees I'm gonna come over here to a top view and I'm just gonna put this thing right here over my piece of bamboo or my cylinder there we are back to perspective and let's stretch this out now I'm stretching it out here on this little gizmo I could also do it here in fact let's kind of undo this and we'll do it the other way here go ahead and validate that make sure this whole thing fits in here let's come back over here and see oh, it looks pretty good now now where they are connected here it doesn't look too good but we're gonna take care of that in Photoshop we're gonna create a non um, a, we're gonna create a repeating texture where you won't see a visible seam and I guess it could let's come back here to cylinder yes it could shrink down just a little oh, now I didn't well alrighty and stretch it out one more time there we are validate that now we 
do need to bring in the sides. Let's see how that looks. And it could come in a little bit more, I believe. No, it needs to be come out. There we are. Okay. And that looks good. Let me maximize this just a little bit more. It really doesn't matter because we're going to create a large UV map for this in Photoshop. Okay, let's export this. Call this BAM Boo UV Map. Save our file and let's export this to our desktop. And we are done with this tutorial. We're going to finish up creating our own textures in Photoshop from scratch to apply to our bamboo. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching here at Geek and Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. Have a good day.